G'day. In this Oracle Mobile Cloud Service episode, we're going to investigate at a high level the concepts of platform APIs, as well as what they can do to aid you in your mobile application development. I'm Chris Muir. I'm from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. Overall, MCS has two sets of APIs that can be published to the outside world through the MCS mobile backends. That is, custom APIs and platform APIs. Custom APIs coded in Node.js give you the flexibility and freedom to build practically whatever services you want for your mobile applications. Using Node.js, you can expose, shape, and tailor any of the existing enterprise system services specifically optimized for your mobile applications to consume. In contrast, platform APIs are a set of built-in APIs provided by MCS to give your mobile team a boost by providing common services and APIs typically required by mobile applications, such as push notifications, data synchronization, storage, and analytics. It's these platform APIs that specifically make MCS valuable to mobile teams. These are a key value proposition for MCS, saving your teams from having to write, test, and maintain this code themselves. In context of these platform APIs, these are available as REST services, meaning they can be easily called from your consuming mobile applications. However, to make this simpler, MCS ships with a native mobile platform SDK. This SDK makes calling the MCS REST services easier, as it removes the need to write a large amount of code to call the REST services, rather replacing the code with SDK calls in the mobile's native language, such as Objective-C for iOS, and Java for Android in typically nothing more than one or two or three lines of code. If we take a step back to the broader discussion on the MCS platform APIs, as you've learned, any discussion on the platform APIs is always coupled with a discussion on the MCS mobile client SDK. They are closely related. So what platform APIs are currently available through MCS to you? Well, the first platform API is that of User Management Services, commonly known as the UMS API for short. The UMS API is responsible for the authentication and authorization of your mobile users through a mobile backend. From the mobile apps perspective, these services are provided by a set of APIs in the MCS Mobile Client SDK, which the native mobile programmer, maybe you or your team, will call from the login page of your mobile application and wherever else you need to check the user's roles and privileges. Next, the next platform API to consider is that of notifications, more commonly known as push notifications, or maybe in the layman's terms, you know, sending messages to apps. Hey, we've all got these mobile devices, we get millions of messages each day, well, at least I do. To do this, mobile developers typically need to write code to register their mobile app when it starts to receive notifications, as well as providing what's called a custom push server to send the messages via either Apple's or separately Google's push services. MCS tackles both these requirements by simplifying the code and providing one push server to hit both Apple's and Google's services in turn. From here, the next core MCS platform API is that of storage. So imagine you're building a mobile app that you need to share a document or maybe a selfie picture of yourself between different mobile users temporarily. To save work for the mobile developer and having to interact with the likes of, say, Apple's cloud to do this, MCS provides lightweight storage for mobile applications and their users to share data, including images and files, on the MCS server itself. In turn, we also can cache information from the backend enterprise systems that the mobile applications are accessing, all accessible via secured REST services or the MCS mobile client SDK. While the storage API is built around lightweight storage and utilizes a simple REST interface to work with, sometimes mobile apps are going to require a more heavyweight storage solution to store large data sets. Sometimes they will need the ability to execute complex queries and process that data, all of which is best not done on the limited memory, CPU and storage capabilities of our mobile devices. To meet these requirements in MCS, Alongside the storage API, MCS includes the database API, which is a full-blown Oracle relational database instance, essentially an a Oracle DBAS instance in the cloud. 
This database instance through the database API of MCS provides the full power of the proven Oracle relational database platform, including SQL support, which many of you know is the industry standard for working with relational databases. From here, our next platform API is the Data Art, uh, Offline API, sometimes referred to as the Synchronization API or Sync API for short. The Sync API, depending on the number of sync policy options that you set up in the MCS Mobile Client SDK, will allow your app to automatically query, refresh and delete data based on specific events. As example, this would be particularly useful for applications that need to support offline use, as you can cache data when you are connected, then go offline and continue using the mobile application as required, and when you come back online, resync the data. Finally, the Analytics Platform API in MCS allows mobile developers to use, or I should say raise, certain events that need to be reported on by the MCS user interface. The Analytics API is backed by a sophisticated dashboard in the MCS user interface, allowing you to visualize the events without having to troll through hundreds of lines of logs. Ultimately, making effective use of the platform APIs and the MCS Mobile Client SDK can significantly reduce the development costs for your mobile application, and I suggest you it's well worth investigating these in depth. And certainly, you'll have a chance to do that in the following episodes, which we we'll hope you'll watch, where we go through the platform APIs and their use in the SDK in a lot of detail. Thanks for joining us.